Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and on the desk today we have a couple of USB smart solder irons kindly sent in by Zoe or Zotec Tools pop a link to AliExpress down below but before we start don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment join the Facebook group, join Patreon, buy me a coffee have a look at my website microchips.net all that lot Let's get started and have a look at these soldering irons. So, first off, we have the Zotec ZT-N1. And we've also got, yeah, a soldering iron with a multimeter. But we'll look at that, num we'll look at that in a moment. So first off, we're going to look at the Zotec ZT-N1. So in the box we have a little stand, USB-C charging cable, a sponge, some instructions, yep, okay, C to C. Now this does require a 60 watt or greater PD um, compatible supply, because it does require 20 volts, so yeah. 60 watt PD charger, power bank, something like that. But yeah, it feels nice. So let's just open it up and have a look. So I'm just being gentle because I'm not too sure on how to get it open. And it's actually just twist it and pull it. I wasn't being hard enough. Straight away we've got a nice um, angled chisel tip. Now the tips actually just pull out. It's actually quite a long tip. This one should be a T12 style tip. So it's got its own um, temperature sensor in it and stuff. Not sure how much they cost for replacement, but basically it just slides in and clicks into place just like so. So we've got some buttons on it, so I presume we can go to a menu system and set the temperature, set the off time and what have you. So let's plug it into my PD supply, so nice OLED screen, so settings we can go centigrade Fahrenheit, which you would expect. So I'll just get out of that menu. Got to solder an iron. And you can see there it is heating up. So we've got it set to 200 at the moment. Needs a little bit toastier than that. So I'll just hold the button down, it goes up nice and quickly. So we've set it there to 260. And it gets up to temperature quite quickly. So let's have a look on the temperature probe on the meter. See how close it is. Now just remember I'm only using the very tip of the soldering iron and the very tip of the temperature probe. So there's going to be a little bit of discrepancy there. But we've got 240 on the meter, 260 on the iron. I think it's pretty close. Not too bad at all. So yeah, it feels quite nice, but you know, it's a soldered iron. And what do we need to do with soldered irons? Well, we need to solder with them. So I'm just going to tin the tip up before we um, before we start using it. So it was good practice just to give a new tip a nice tinning and let's see how it solders yeah not too bad at all as you would expect from a soldering iron it solders actually feels quite nice 
I suppose you could use this portable if you got yourself a, a power bank that supports the uh, PD protocol and 20 volts. Don't know how long a power bank would last, but yeah, it could be an option for places that, you know, you haven't got power and you don't want to use the old style gas iron. At least you have got some form of temperature regulation on this. So just using the very tip of the chisel there, we can actually solder down to fine points. So yeah, yeah, solder iron, solders, fantastic. So yeah, I think you could actually um, do it on some quite larger areas as well due to it being a chisel tip and once we finish with it twist and lock the lid back on there we have it so that was the ZT N1 so let's have a look at the other one the ZT N2 now this one it's got a multimeter built into it. Okay, albeit a basic multimeter, but it's still a multimeter. And I must admit, this has got to be the first soldering iron I've seen with a multimeter in it. So we have a special tip. We have a probe that sits in the back. And that connects into the USB-C. Are you thinking because it's plugging into the back, how do you get power? Well, it has an internal battery. But the internal battery only runs a multimeter part. It does not run the soldering iron. Or else it would have to be a rather big battery. Yeah, if you try and put it into soldering iron mode, it says plug in USB-C. So power on and off with a button, no problem. So, as before, the tip just pulls out. Nice chisel tip on it. Now, for the multimeter, we need to change the tip. And we need to plug in the probe into the back, just like so. And let's have a look at it doing its job. So it is quite limited, so maximum 36 volts for AC and DC, and it has got resistance and continuity. So yeah, so we're on auto range, so we've got DC, AC, and we've got the resistance. So let's measure some voltage. Just trying to get it into camera shot. And there we go, that's easier if I put the crock clips on the end of it. So yeah. It is reading to be expected. Let's have a look at continuity readings. So we're on resistance, measuring a 1k resistor. That was just fine. Continuity is just fine. Yep, no trouble at all. Let's get it onto the pro. There we go. Yep, 33k, I think that was down there. Yep, no problem. It's a 10k, so yeah, it does work. I can see it being a bit of a problem switching the hot soldering iron tip out to put your multimeter parts on. Could be interesting. But 
But again, it's a soldered iron. So let's solder. So we'll tin the tip, like we do normally. And we'll go for we'll go for soldering, just like on the other one. So using the very tip of it again. Yeah, solders just fine. Not sure how much these tips are to replace. Hopefully they're cheap enough. Let's try it on a bigger area. So using the side of the, um, the chisel, so we're getting maximum surface area. So this is actually sinking the heat away quite quickly. You know, we can always crank the temperature up. That would sort that out. So just like there, we'll just crank the temperature up a little bit. Let's see how quick it melts it this time. And yeah, not a problem. Nice and quick this time. So yeah, it's all about getting the correct temperature for the job you're working on. So yeah, it's a solder iron, it solders, it's got a multimeter. Absolutely fantastic. So thank you Zotex Zoe for sending these in. Definitely um, interesting pieces of kit. I think they are a budget unit as well, so quite affordable. And yeah. The soldering irons for soldering. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join Facebook group, join Patreon, buy me a coffee, have a look at my website, microchips.net. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.